Oh, look at this blue. Oh, wow. Okay, give it to me. Don't forget that. I'll swing it this way. Where are you going? I'll break. No, no, this way. One, two, one, two, three. Lift, one, two, three, lift. Dude! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold it up for the video. Alright folks, we're in Montauk, New York. Uh, we came looking for albies and bass, but the action is terrible. So we're fishing the bottom. We're gonna try to catch big knucklehead sea bass using this small jig. It's about an ounce and a half, two ounces, uh, that will get down fairly quickly. And uh, once it gets down there, we're gonna bounce it off the bottom and uh, basically hook them up and try to bring them up. It's a lot of fun, so let's give it a shot. The screen is just lit up. Hey, here we go, fish on. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a nice little sea bass. This one's small. This is a very small one, but we're looking for the big knuckleheads. Let's see if we can catch them. Let's try again. There we go. Right on the drop. Oh, this is a better one. This is a nicer fish. Let's take a look. Well, still not the knucklehead we're looking for, but it's getting better. See this guy? Getting a little bit better. See what it is. Check it out. Wow, that's a nice fish. Very nice head. All in the jig. All right, so let's release this guy. Okay. Again, all we're doing is dropping this jig and we're bouncing it off the bottom, all right? It's fairly simple. Okay, let's go mark you some fish. Here we go. We're gonna drop the jig to the bottom and bounce it up and down. Let's give it a shot. Get some, oh, here we go. That was bottom. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we have a fish. That's a good fish too. A nice sea bass. Ooh, good drop. Well, that's okay. Let's catch another one. That's a good one. Let's, take him up. Let's see if we can bring him up. Feels good, whatever it is. Unless we snag the fish. Check it out. Beautiful fish, nice colors. See that? Look at the beautiful head. With sea bass, you have to be in the right spot. As soon as you move out of the piece, the rocks, or whatever it is that they're congregated in, we just don't seem to get as many hits. When you're on top of the structure, you'll get them right away. See, right now, we just moved out the structure, the area that's holding the sea bass. So, the hits are gonna be more sporadic. And unfortunately, this is a little bit of a technical fishing. So uh, electronics are very important. See, the key to this fishing is to let that jig sink to the bottom. Once you're in the bottom, you're gonna bounce it up and down and get ready to set the hook when you feel the strike, like that. Well, this is a very small fish. Whatever it is, it's a very small fish. It's actually 
Getting good marks again. Good marks means there's a lot of fish in the bottom. A lot of fish in the bottom means we can get a nice hookup soon. All right, see, I'm not in the bottom round. I'm gonna open the bail, let it sink a little more. That should do it. Bring about 28 feet of water. There we go. That's a nice fish. Oh, it just came up. What a shame. That was a nice fish. I think what I'm looking at my chart and I think what happened is that we're off the structure that we're looking for even a little bit makes a big difference so this is a little bit technical right you have to use your electronics to know where you are and if you're in the right spot so um, I think what I'm gonna do rather than do the whole drift I'm just gonna reset because I'm only a few yards from where we should be yeah so let's go reset all right we're back in the structure let's drop our jig and see if we can catch fish Okay, that's a good hookup. That's a nice fish. Let's see what it is. Wow. It feels like a good one. Look at this. And the nice. That's what we like. Beautiful colors. This is a nice fish. Let's see if we can land it. Quick release in here. Wow. Check this out. Nice. Look at the size of this guy. All right, so decided I'm gonna give this a shot, just for fun. It's a hand line, same jig, just drop it to the bottom and see what happens. There we go, we got a fish. Oh, nice. Oh, we just lost them. Okay. That was a nice sea bass, too. I think you find them up again. Oh, this is putting up a good fight. All right. Sea bass using the hand line. Not bad. It's not a bad fish either. The last one we dropped was pretty good too. All right, let's get a bigger one. We get another one. So this is very simple. We're just using uh, about a 50 pound line to catch this fish. Nice one. Oh, nice, nice, nice. It feels like a good one. Holy moly. Holy crap. Using nothing but hand line. 
Look at the size of the sea bass. Now that's a knucklehead. Whoa, look at that. How awesome is that? So that's it folks. We had a lot of fun catching those sea bass. Um, definitely not what we came here to do. We came here looking for albies uh, and striped bass and bluefish uh, to catch on top on the fly rod. But Montauk is not what it usually is this time of the year. It's uh, very disappointing. There's no uh, fish on top. And so uh, rather than just float around, we, we um, decided to give it a shot. And again, if you want to try this, it's very, very simple. Using a spinning rod, about seven, eight foot rod, and a jig that's about an ounce and a half to two ounces. Drop it straight to the bottom, and hopefully you get yourself a nice knucklehead. That's it, and I'll see you later.